This is going to be a five minute deep dive into one of the exercises that has most helped my lower back and hip pain. I find this one really good for developing internal rotation, which helps us with a deep squat and also for accessing a feeling of strength in my glutes and the feeling that I am stacking my spine above my sit bones to have a really strong awareness of my hips working when I'm in that deep squat position. So we're gonna sit on something that allows you to have a 90 degree-ish angle at the hips. I'm gonna place the feet hip width apart and we're gonna squeeze a foam roller just behind the knees. In this position, I'm making sure that my sit bones are really pressing into the bench, okay? Sit bones, not butt. I'm not tucking my pelvis under or anything like that. And then I'm gonna squeeze the foam roller with anything from 50 to 75% effort. You can see me squeezing there. Just keeping that steady and noticing the feeling of expansion at the back and outside of the hips as I draw in and squeeze tight towards the inner groin. So you can see with my hands, I'm trying to express what I'm feeling here. I'm drawing my inner thighs in and down and my outer hip is feeling spacious. And that's this feeling of potential in the glutes, which comes from lengthening and drawing the hip socket back. Okay, from here, I just stay aware of my breathing, maintaining some intra-abdominal pressure, which is a very light brace as I breathe. And I'm just rocking forward and back on my sit bones, bringing my pelvis with me and observing which muscles take over. As I rock forward, it's gonna be more of the sort of hamstring side adductors. And as I rock back, I'm gonna get more hip flexor side and lower abs. It's all very much connected, okay? You can even see me slightly lift my feet on some of these reps to get more abs in there. And that's just me testing my pelvic and abdominal control as I maintain that really nice squeeze on the roller. As you get better at this, you can take your feet wider apart. So that's more internal rotation at the hip, which is what makes a lot of us pinch uh, and impinge. So if you can create the muscular activation that shifts the bones to give you space in your hips by moving the feet wider and keeping this squeeze as you move through the same rocking we did before, you're on the right track. And we're just gonna keep gradually getting wider over time, but making sure that we're operating in a pain-free range making sure the hips feel spacious and we're aware of which muscles need to strengthen and activate for us to feel the ball of the hip socket or femoral head drawing deep and gliding back into the acetabulum or the uh, cup. So same thing, rocking forward and back, really focusing on the rock forward in my uh, posterior or backside inner thigh muscles towards my bum and my hamstrings and then focusing on the hip flexor and lower ab side as I lean back. So let's say you're getting into some pretty serious squat depth and a good level of internal rotation in your hips now, or you're just someone who's not particularly restricted, but maybe you're hypermobile. You can just sit on a lower bench and perform exactly the same routine. But it's important that as you sit on that lower bench, you're still upright through your spine, you're able to access your sit bones, and you're not gonna go into lumbar flexion or rounding forward. So that's what I'm gonna illustrate here, rounding through my lower back, is gonna create a disconnect between my upper torso and the base of my pelvis, and that's not gonna be helpful. So I want to instead close my angle at the hips and maintain that feeling of stack. And I do this because I want this movement to carry over to my heavy squats, my deadlifts, all of those load-bearing activities. So you'll see me go through the same process. The foam roller is set up a bit behind my knees, making sure I'm on my sit bones, and I start to move my feet a little bit wider because I feel like that's where I need to be doing my work. From here, if I go heels out, that puts me in even more internal rotation. And if you watch my video, you can see that my left leg has slightly better internal rotation than my right. And I was trying in this video, as I was doing this, to find a stronger right sit bone connection because the lack of IR in my right hip made me wanna tuck the right side of my pelvis under. So all of these details are things that you should both look out for on camera and feel into while you're performing these drills. If I show you from side on, I now retest my squat depth and I find that I've had so much benefit. I can squat pretty damn deep with a relatively neutral spine. And it actually feels really good because my hip joints are gliding nicely in their sockets now and just allowing me a feeling of silky, free, buttery movement. So I reckon that's a success. If you wanna feel really good in your hips and build some serious strength so you can feel good at work or under the barbell or whatever activity it is you do, just head to attuned.space and book a call. 
We'll see you there.